Hi folks, it's John again. I'm here in the bathroom that we talked about last week. And this is the bathroom where we found the polybutylene pipe. Polybutylene pipe, sometimes referred to as poly pipe for short. Um, this pipe was used back in the 70s up through the 90s. And in around the mid uh, year 1996, they actually uh, stopped using the pipe altogether. The reason is, that it was failing. The joints sometimes would leak. Sometimes the pipe itself would uh, deteriorate from the inside out and the pipe would burst. And these pipes are hidden in floors or hidden in walls. So you can just uh, imagine what can happen if a pipe in one of your walls or in, in the floor would break. So let me show you what it looks like. And I'm gonna show you where we are with making a change, pulling out that pipe and putting in a different product. So take a look over here. I'm gonna take a piece of floor up over here. Again, this is a, a bathroom. This section here is um, the section where there's a vanity. So to my right over here is where the vanity was. Take a look at all this plumbing in here. Now, this all used to be a gray pipe called poly pipe. We've replaced the poly pipe with this white pipe, or it's, or it's a off-white color. This is called CPVC. Now, CPVC has been around for a number of decades now, and uh, we've used it a lot. We've been had a lot of success with it. Um, it, it lasts a long time, and it's very durable, and it just holds up. The other nice thing about the CPVC, when it's installed, all of these joints here, they're actually glued, and the glue actually, um, basically, it, it welds the pipe to the fitting once it's dry doesn't take long for it to dry either. But so just imagine all of this pipe here, this was all uh, poly pipe, which at any minute now, or any time now, could have ruptured and caused damage. Now, this bathroom is on the second floor of the house. If it would have broke loose, it would have just, the water would have went down through the ceiling on, this, on the first floor where the TV room is and, you know, do a lot of damage. Um, on the other hand, the poly pipe that was in here was in here since 1987. So it's not like something that would happen overnight. And uh, I know in this home they had one leak. It was on the first floor probably uh, 10 years ago. Um, but since then, they haven't had anything. But since we're remodeling the bathroom, we thought this is a great time to get rid of all the poly pipe and put in CPVC because we know it's going to last a, a, a long, long time. We don't have the risk of a possible rupture. Now, let me just show you what the poly pipe looks like. I showed you last week. I'm going to show it to you again. I'm coming over here. And this is the original poly pipe. Uh, it's this gray pipe here. And what happens is it, it feels almost like a rubber, whereas the CPVC is much more rigid. Uh, over time, the inside of it starts to wear out, especially if your home has city water where there's a lot of chlorine. It can actually make this wall of this pipe thinner and thinner then eventually it will just blow up and burst. The other problem that you have with the poly pipe is the connections here. Um, there's washers in, behind this, uh, this uh, nut here. And at times um, that will start to deteriorate, pipe breaks loose, and now you have a leak coming uh, at the joints. And there's a lot of joints in um, polybutylene. Um, where we discovered that we had the pipes. This is something else. How do you know if you have polybutylene or not? Well, look under your sink. This is what clued us in. This is the polybutylene pipe. Here it is. It's a, a gray color pipe in this case. Sometimes it's black, sometimes it's blue. In this case, it was gray and we saw it. We knew right away we needed to replace it, but we really didn't know how much pipe we had to replace. You just don't know where the pipe goes. Initially, we thought, well, great, we'll just put a, a new hot water pipe and a new cold water pipe and go straight down to the next floor. We're done. But as you can see, as you come back up here, um, this pipe is going all over the place in this bathroom. It goes into the vanity, goes over in this direction, uh, over to where the uh, tub is. The tub's behind this wall. Here's polybutylene again. It has to get replaced. That's also the drain pipe in there. Uh, come back around. Come back over by the door here and you'll see, you know, this this pipe even leads outside of this bathroom through this wall here on the left. You can see the two pipes going through the wall. They're leading to another bathroom, which is in the front of the house. 
So we actually had to go through this wall into the bedroom, take up the floor in the bedroom, and trace it all the way to the other bathroom. And then to make matters even worse was it went to that bathroom, then back downstairs to a bathroom on the first floor. So anyway, uh, this is poly pipe. If you have poly pipe, do consider getting it replaced. And a good time to do that would be when you're remodeling your bathroom, assuming you, you can wait uh, long enough to do that. But absolutely, if you are renovating a bathroom or a kitchen, you have this pipe, get it replaced. Thanks, folks, for listening. Hope to see you next week.